So, Bob, start with Pass. I mean, he was obviously very good last year, but seemingly has taken a, a another major jump ahead. Uh, why and, and what's he doing better now? Well, I think I think a year ago our team was pretty much dominated with with Deuce and Derek, and uh, most of the most of the really when we needed a basket, it was it was one of those two, and he had a great summer. He had a phenomenal summer. I mean, he didn't go home, stayed here. Um, was in the gym every day. Worked really hard. One of the guys smart enough to hang out with the older guys, you know, in the gym to see how they worked and and what they'd learned by a lot of them going and playing uh, professionally overseas. I, I think it really helped him. He put his name in, had conversations about not taking that extra year. So what were your conversations like with him about that? I honestly didn't really say all that much. Just, you know, um, you got a chance to have a heck of a year. You have a chance to come back and be the guy. And uh, uh, the, the reality is you're not going to get drafted. You're not on any draft board. So why wouldn't you come back and have a heck of a year and see if you can do it next year? What's next for him as a player, in your opinion? What's he got to expand on? John, I tell you, he, he's, he has made so many strides. I mean, he, he reminds me a lot of, of, of like Steve Logan. He's, a, he's, he's bigger and he's more athletic than Lowe was. But just a, uh, a great knack of getting himself free to get, to get, to get a jump shot. Um, he's got to be he's got to be one of the better players in, in our league, if not if not in the top two or three. What makes him so good around the rim. I, mean, I know you mentioned his feet. Uh, is that what it is? His, his feet? Oh, he's got great feet. He's. He's, he, he's got great feet, and he's really worked hard at it. Uh, you know, the, the thing you learn from the older guys is is that, you know, you don't you don't have to dribble between your legs 65 times, you know, and, and you, you if you really want to be a good scorer, you have, you got to be versatile. And, you know, you watch K.J. come and work out, and, and he takes a lot of jump shots, but – then he takes all, does all of his post stuff, you know. And if you, as as Tariq and Tavon and Alex and so forth and so on, they keep they all keep coming in with their workouts. Taz was Taz was a great student. He mentioned something the other day. That he he's kind of an inside out guy. He starts inside, then works his way out. Is that? I guess it's common for for scorers, right? What from from a workout yeah, standpoint? Yeah, from a workout perspective, he starts close and then works his way out, even pregame. It's kind of old school. Yeah. That's what. I mean, you see a lot of guys today that are out there jacking threes, you know, the whole practice or whatnot. Yeah, the vast majority of them. Yeah. But but I think that's been something that um, has been around for a long time. You know, you you, you start close and you can and you gradually work your way back. <laughs> 